what's up guys welcome back to another video of Zach's train productions and today we are going to be building the denise navyville commuter rail f59ph in minecraft shout out to emd f59ph fan for the request so without further ado let's get into it so to start we probably should get all the materials we're going to need so first of all you're going to get polished blackstone stairs polished blackstone slab Dark oak trapdoor, polished blackstone buttons, hoppers, and smooth stone slabs would do the trick for now. You're going to start with your polished blackstone stairs, placing them five across your set of tracks here. And then you're going to do the exact same thing like so. Except for this part, you're going to want to put blocks here and then add the coupler. And then for now, we'll just, we'll just leave like that, that, and then get to the details in a bit. Let's go ahead and get our stairs on both sides using our polished black stone slabs. Now you can go ahead and fill this in. And then you can take your dark oak trap doors. And place them right here along this side. Then you're going to go ahead and take your black concrete, your white concrete, and your birch trap doors. You're going to go ahead and set your black concrete right here. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. like a so and then you're going to go ahead and do the stripe pattern but for the middle here I recommend that you use the trap doors just to give it that kind of nose angle feel on an actual F59 pH take your polished black stone stairs along the sides And then you're going to go on, go ahead and continue the stripe pattern. Go ahead and put this here. And then you can go ahead and grab a birch button and set it on top. Grab the rest of your black concrete, like so. My bad, you're actually supposed to put the stairs like this. So place at the corner of the block like that. Now you're going to go ahead and take tinted glass. Um, if you're playing in older versions, you may not have it, so black stained glass could work for you. And then you're also going to take your pink concrete. Place your pink concrete across. Put one window on uh, each block of pink concrete. And then put one window in the middle, because f 59 PHs are Tricops locomotives. Put some trap doors here. Excuse me. You're going to take your polished black stone stairs and set them on the side here. Then you're going to grab your black concrete and extend the roof like us. So then you're going to go ahead and grab your bell. Place it on the side here along with your end rods. like so <clears throat> then grab your birch fence gate and stick it on the side here for part of the ladder and then you can go ahead and grab your birch fences and put them on the front of your locomotive like so Then you can also add your birch buttons to the side just to give it some more detail. And I think we're kind of done for the front. Oh, except for the number boards. So the number boards, I usually just put 118 and then dye the lettering white. But you can really put whatever you want on there. 
Alright, so we're going to go ahead and make the wheels. So for now you can go ahead and just put all of your stuff in your inventory because you may need some of it later. For this you're going to need hoppers, polished black shell buttons, your slabs, your gray terracotta, and you're going to come one block behind this trapdoor, place one, 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 one. So they're four or two blocks away from each other. You're going to place hoppers on the front of the wheel. And then another thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and grab your stairs. Put them on the inside like a so. So that there's a little slab sized gap in there. And you're going to go ahead and add your polished blackstone slabs across. And also across the top. Now you're going to go one block away like this. Take your black concrete. And you're going to extend it by one, two, three, four, five, six blocks on each side. You're going to take your polished blackstone stairs, like so. You can go ahead and fill in the floor here too if you really want to. <coughs> then you're going to go ahead and take your birch fences and put them on the third block, like so. We'll extend this ladder later, but for now, we'll, let's just... We'll keep it like that. And then let's get our pink concrete again. And we're also going to grab ch some uh, cherry slabs. We're going to put two cherry slabs like this, so. I think the only downside about this design is that you can't necessarily go inside because we're going to have some stuff on the inside to make the windows look more natural. But it, 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 sh it should be fine for now. If you... Uh, like looks over function if you know what i mean have your stairs like a so you're gonna take your black concrete again fill in the top and i guess we might as well just get this over with we might as well make the banner here so normally i could just grab this and put it on but i'll for those of you who don't know how to make a banner i'll go ahead and do that so for this, you're going to need two black banners, a loom, and two pink dye. Set your loom down, put one of your banners in, and then have it slice halfway like this. And then you're going to want to do the same with the other banner, but with the opposite. Like this. We'll keep the loom out here for now, and then you can go ahead and place them right here to make it look more natural. Alright, and then you're going to go ahead and take your white concrete and continue the white stripe underneath the locomotive body. I don't know. <laughs> like a so and then the next step is going to be extending the body so you're going to go ahead and take your black concrete again and you're also going to grab some bedrock you're going to put two bedrock two black concrete three bedrock Three black concrete, two bedrock, one black concrete, two bedrock, or one bedrock, and then your black concrete, and then go ahead and place polished black stone stairs all over the top. And another detail I use for the vents is that you can actually um you can grab 
the just the standard blackstone stairs to kind of extend the feel of the vents a bit. It's not necessary, but if you want to, feel free. And then also, like the last one, you're going to want to curve these stairs. Take your black concrete and fill in this whole thing. Like so. And you're going to go ahead and take your stairs again. Put three at the back, two concrete, and a bedrock. And then you're going to extend this whole frame with your black concrete. You're going to send it by 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you're going to go take your black concrete and fill in these walls. Like so. So as you can see, the build's starting to come to life, but we're missing a little something. I can't seem to see what it is. Of course, it's the paintings or people on the side. For those of you playing in Java Edition, like I am, you're going to go ahead and get the Wanderer and the Graham painting. Now, you can really arrange these in any way you want, but I recommend that you do... Two, go up by one, do four, and then five, like so. That seems to be the best option that I've done. And then you can repeat the same on the other side. And now we're going to go ahead and add the vents on the top. So take your smooth stone slabs again. And you're going to come one from the back and place one here. One here. One here. And one here. Like a so. Then you're going to take your dark oak trap doors again. And your tinted glass. And for this one you're going to kind of have to break in. But... You go ahead and place down whatever block you want. Grab your trap doors. And put them in kind of like a train window. Or a train window design as you see on most trains. And then if you want, you can go ahead and put tinted tinted uh, tinted glass in between them to make it seem more lifelike, I guess. I don't know. Like this. And you go take your black concrete, make a layer of it back here and also down here. Like this. Then you go place your cherry slides back, and then there you go. There's the window. All right, let's move to the back and detail the back a little more and also finish it. So to start, let's go ahead and take our black concrete again. Fill this in with our black concrete. <coughs> You're going to grab your white stained glass with your birch button. And you are going to go to this block right here and place one here. And then you're going to place your birch button here. 
Then you're going to go ahead and take your polished black stone slab once again and place three in a row like this. And then you're going to go ahead and take your black concrete here. Go down by one. You're going to grab your tripwire hooks and your smooth stone slab and your birch fence gates like so. Then you're going to go ahead and grab your actual birch fence. You're going to put them too tall like this and then put your fence gates in between. Then go ahead and take your fence, put it on the side like so. Grab your slabs and stick them on the side. Then you're going to go ahead and grab your dark oak trap door. Place them here. Like we did with the front. There we go. Now you can go ahead and grab your black concrete, break this one here at the corner, and replace it with a black concrete block. And then you're going to go ahead and fill this in. Now for interior in like the engine room, I didn't really do anything because I didn't go that far on detail. But if you want, you can add like an engine or whatever you really feel like. But I'm just kind of giving you uh, a shell of it. Not nothing uh, done on the interior, only the exterior really. Like so. There we go, that's looking real good. Oh gosh, I just remembered. Uh, we need to break these out. Otherwise, the trucks will not fit. Now you're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to move on to the second truck here so you can go ahead and grab your great terracotta, your hoppers, buttons, slabs once again. So you're going to come one block away, place them in the same arrangement, place hoppers, put your stairs, And your slabs. And then there's also these 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 tanks or some they're uh, the things hanging down from the bottom. I didn't get too close of a look at them from other pictures of F59 PHs, but I assume there's some kind of tanks or air pressure tank or water. I don't know, but we'll go ahead and make them using polished black stone slabs. Now, the only thing we're really missing, at least on the side, are these banners, which I'll go ahead and show you how to make now with our loom. Alright, so for this one, you're going to need one black banner, one pink dye, and one white dye. Chuck in your banner, and then you're gonna go ahead and chuck in. You're gonna chuck in your white dye, and you're gonna go ahead and put it across the top. And then you're gonna chuck in your pink dye, and then do the smaller sliver across the bottom. This will give you this very interesting looking banner pattern. And then you're gonna go ahead and place these on the side throughout the whole white stripe and the white stripe only. Thank you. 
And I think the only thing we're missing are these birch buttons. Just generally hanging around next to these ladders. One thing we are missing though is the ladder. So you're going to go ahead and take your birch fence gates. Come back here. And just open them as you go up. Like a so. And then you can go ahead and put your birch buttons here. Fill in this area under the front truck, which I didn't do. And with that, I think we are done with the build. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special thanks once again to EMD F59PH fan for requesting it. If you want to see me build anything else, please sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.